Good morning and welcome to the Miami Memorial Library. Today's story is how Jack Rabbit got his very long ears by Heather Urbinskis and illustrated by Kenneth Spengler. We're gonna like the pictures. And here's a picture of Jack Rabbit. How Jack Rabbit got his very long ears. In the beginning, the great spirit made the world. He made the oceans, the mountains, the lowlands, and the forests. And then he mixed a bit of red clay with sand and blew it in each of the four directions. And the great desert of the Southwest was formed with daubs of paint here and there for yellow and purple flowers and grays and greens for cactus and desert trees. It was a very pretty picture indeed. Next, the great spirit needed a helper to run his errands on earth. After all, a desert isn't made in a day, and the great spirit wanted it just so for all the creatures he would put to live there one day. He needed an animal who was fast and smart and would be able to help settle the other creatures into their new desert homes. So he created Jackrabbit. As the great spirit worked to make each animal, he took great time and care, for beneath its beauty, the desert hid many dangers for the unwary. There were thorns on most of the plants. There was very little water, and almost every day the sun burned hot. For outsiders, it was quite a forbidding place, but for the desert creatures, it would be paradise. Jack Rabbit's job was to take the animals the Great Spirit created and lead them to their new homes. On the way, he was to explain, as the Great Spirit had explained to him, just how special they had been made so that they could survive in the desert. However, there were times when Jack Rabbit got bored and he daydreamed about the days ahead when his job would be done and he and the other animals could gather and play. Because of this, he did not always listen carefully to what the Great Spirit told him about these creatures who were to be his friends. As Jack Rabbit took the desert tortoise down to earth. Tortoise asked, Jack Rabbit, why is it I am so slow? Jack Rabbit thought a minute, trying to remember what the great spirit had said. Ah, yes, he replied. It is because you are not as smart as I. Oh, said Tortoise, 
and he sadly walked away. When Jack Rabbit took Bobcat down to the earth, Bobcat asked, Jack Rabbit, why don't I have a long, beautiful tail instead of this stump? Jack Rabbit thought a minute, trying to remember what the great spirit had told him. Ah, yes, he replied. It is because that that was all that there was left. There were no more long tails left. Oh, said Bobcat, and he sadly padded away. Then, as Jack Rabbit brought Roadrunner down to Earth, Roadrunner asked, Jack Rabbit, why don't I have the wings of an eagle so that I can soar high in the sky? I'm only able to fly from the ground to a tree. Jack Rabbit thought a while, trying to remember the great spirit's words. Uh, yes, he replied because you're not as important as Eagle, so you can't fly as high as he. Oh, said Roadrunner, and she sadly fluttered away. I turned the page before I showed you the picture. When the great spirit had finished creating his animals, he looked down upon the desert to see how he had done. The animals had gathered to celebrate their new home. There was lots of laughing and hopping and flying and jumping and general merrymaking. The great spirit smiled at what he saw, but then he noticed three little figures off to the side of the road. Tortoise, Bobcat, and Roadrunner looked very sad indeed. The great spirit came close to them and asked, how is it that you are so unhappy, my little friends? Don't you like your new home? Each one nodded, but Tortoise replied with a tear in his eye. I asked Jack Rabbit why it wa was that you made me so slow, and he said it was because I'm not as smart as he is. The great spirit said, <laughs> Jack Rabbit must not have heard me well, because you are special. You alone do not need to run quickly for shelter because wherever you go, you are always home. Oh, said Tortoise with a smile on his face. Jack Rabbit said that I have a stump of a tail because you were out of long, beautiful ones, sniffed Bobcat. The great spirit sighed and said, Jack Rabbit must not have listened well because you too are special. A long tail would only have gotten caught on all the thorns and kept you from moving quickly on your way. Oh, said Bobcat with a twinkle in his eye and a twitch of his short tail.
with her head held low, roadrunner sighed. I'm not important like the eagle in the sky, and that is why I shall never fly as high. That's what Jack Rabbit said. The great spirit frowned and said, Jack Rabbit surely did not pay attention, for you are truly special. All that you need is close to the ground, and no one can travel as fast as you across it. Oh, said Roadrunner, and she fluffed her tail feathers and flexed her toes proudly. As Roadrunner, Tortoise, and Bobcat joined at the others, the Great Spirit was thoughtful. Hmm, perhaps I made Jack Rabbit too quickly, he said to himself. Not only did he create misunderstandings with his fellow creatures by not paying attention, but a rabbit who does not listen to what goes on around him will not survive in the desert. So that night, while the animals slept, the great spirit changed Jack Rabbit's ordinary rabbit ears to much longer ones. And to this day, if you try to sneak up on a Jack Rabbit, you will find he has very good hearing indeed. So now you know why a jackrabbit has longer ears than a regular rabbit. And speaking of ears, we have a coloring cutout sheet for you of your very own jackrabbit ears. After you color and cut, it might look something like this. They've put elastic on the back of it for me, so I'll flip it over on my head. How's that? Yours can look just like that. There's also, oh, and I love word searches. There's a desert animal word search, and it's nice and big. See how many of those words you can find, like lizard and chuckwalla, meerkat and dingo. And we also have a coloring page for you. Looks something like this. You can find all of those on the Facebook page and have mom or dad or your grandma or grandpa print it out for you and have fun. And if you want to see the real book, just need to come down to the Miami Memorial Library and check out how Jack Rabbit got his very long ears. There's some beautiful pictures in it. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.